we just wanted to give you a little show of this beautiful property that we're looking at today. So you have this incredibly long concrete driveway that comes up from the main road. There are a few houses sitting up here beyond those trees. There's one over on this side. And then here is the neighbor's house. It's kind of up on a hill a little bit. So at these trees right here, there is a stake that is the end of the property. And then it goes way over there beyond the trees. Here is the home and the property goes beyond the trees there at the back. So let's go down here real quick. They have this nice concrete pad for you to have a basketball goal at. The barn here has a chicken coop on the back side of it that also comes out here. So when you go inside the little barn, you have this area here. And then here's the little chickens. So we are going to go inside. Again, this is like a barn dimidium. It was built in 2020. Lots of front yard space. You can see it has a pretty deep crawl space area. It has all gas. Again, the yard will go back into those trees. HVAC units here, septic. It's a little black thing right there beyond. Crawl space doors. And let's go inside. Double French doors at the front. Which leads into the open concept space. We have a gas fireplace. This is LVP flooring. gas stove. It has the hood, which is fabulous. All of the white cabinets are soft closed cabinets. Your microwave is here in the island. There's a true Lazy Susan over here. Really stunning windows. So whoever's in the kitchen gets this view anytime they look out. dining room space. It is flat paint. Your pantry here is pull out, which is super, super nice. Then cabinet space up there. There is also a second pantry or closet underneath the stairs. And then you have a front, just coat closet. There we go. And here is the half bath. Morgan's trying to make noise over here. So, you know, pedestal sink, basic half bath. garage 
notch right here. And know that beautiful blue Corvette probably doesn't come with the house. But you got great windows over there to be able to look from your garage to the pool. Let's step outside here and see the pool and then we'll go upstairs to see all the bedrooms. So a large covered deck. Nice fenced in pool. Pool has been done exquisitely. Has the ledge there for sunbathing, some step downs. You can see a little bit, hopefully, where you have a shallow space that's a rectangle. Um, so to play basketball. And then you have the deep end that has a ledge here in the back corner. So really beautifully done. They have a flower box over there or a vegetable garden as well. Concrete goes all the way to the edge of the pool and then it is a liner on the pool. Okay, we're gonna go into this corner over here just to kind of show you the pool setup. So they've done it really, really well with the Piping, super quiet pump. All right, let's go back inside and see the bedrooms. See the catwalk up top. Your stairs are all wood stairs, which love that. And then at the top is kind of your gaming area. So a big open space. And then on the garage side, above your garages is your master bedroom. So a very, very spacious bedroom. Lots of natural light from the windows. The back of the house is actually northeast, so you get the morning sun. The front of the house is going to be your southwest with the evening sun, which is fabulous for pools. Then your master closet is all custom with your washer and dryer in there and an LVP flooring. Nope, this is actually tile in your master closet. Okay, same tile in the master bathroom. Double vanity. Across from the double vanity is a soaking tub. Morgan will give you a lowdown on that. Um, they have a wallpaper behind. There is a fabulous, huge shower with a single shower head. And then you have your commode area that also has a pocket door. And a linen closet. Okay, so your master suite has a pocket door here to the bathroom as well. And then as we go down the hall, the back bedroom is going to be rather large. That's a big closet, so this is gonna be on the back of the house. And then the, there is a guest bath with double vanities. 
Again, the tile flooring. It's a standard shower tub, but really long, nice bath. And then the front bedroom is a tad smaller. It's probably like half the size of the other bedroom. So someone would get a huge bedroom and someone would have a smaller bedroom. But kind of how the furniture is set up in here, it makes it feel a little tighter. Like there could be a bookshelf cabinet going here and then a bed against the wall instead of in the middle. So it could be opened up and not feel as tight. All right, but this is the home. We thought you would want to be able to see it. Again, the only thing really that would be a, hey, we'd probably want to do that is repainting or touching up the flat paint. All right, hope you enjoy.